The president says he will extend America's commitment in Afghanistan. Nightbeat's Katie Nielsen is in our newsroom with details on tonight's speech. Katie? The president said it's time to take drastic measures and shift from the focus of creating democracy in Afghanistan to killing terrorists. Terrorists, take heed. America will never let up until you are dealt a lasting defeat. Trump said tonight the Middle East policies of past presidents didn't work and it's time for a change. We will not talk about numbers of troops or our plans for further military activities. His focus will be on stopping terrorists and abandoning the idea of nation building in the Middle East. He says Pakistan is turning a blind eye to terrorist hideouts and it's time to hold the country's feet to the fire through whatever means necessary. Pakistan often gives safe haven to agents of chaos, violence and terror. We watched the president's address with retired Marine Corps Colonel Brendan Kearney to get his reaction to the president's plan to win the war in Afghanistan. I think we're on the right track towards focusing on the people that want to hurt us. Um, and by going after them, it precludes them getting us. Another facet of the president's plan, give military leaders on the front lines more authority to do what's necessary to get the job done, something Colonel Kearney says would be a welcome change. The standard thing among our group between military professionals was that you couldn't get decisions in a timely manner that had relevance to what you were trying to accomplish over there. Colonel Kearney says the president didn't come up with this strategy alone. It was obvious he had help from the Secretary of Defense and State as well as the Joint Chiefs of Staff. This has uh, uh, Jim Mattis uh, and Joe Dunford uh, and uh, Tillerson uh, has their fingerprints all over it. Another interesting part of the president's remarks, he called for unity after the deadly Charlottesville rally, saying soldiers who go to fight the terrorists deserve to come home to a country that's not at war with itself. On the Night Beat, I'm Katie Nielsen.